All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Google Next, and look who I with me, Subolj uh, from Discover. Uh, I hope I, I pronounced your name right. But then uh, you did great, Robert. Okay, awesome. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm pretty sure uh, the announcements have been super exciting. I was at the keynote as well, and listening to a lot of. Uh, great announcements also meeting a lot of leaders and i'm pretty sure you are doing the same as well uh, but just for our audience would you like to introduce yourself tell us a little about your role at discover as well sure so i'm saboch padi as you said and uh, i work uh, with the discover teams uh, specifically in these use cases to enable our award winning customer service agents to better work with customers hmm. and to be able to better answer the questions that they receive and to provide a better customer service. That's awesome. And uh, also, since we are here and the announcement just happened a few hours back, like the keynote itself, what what are you most excited about or what type of advancements that, that you see, you feel that our oh, customers are going to be very excited to? Yeah, you know, it's. Uh, I think the most fascinating is that uh, this time, we are actually talking about use cases across mm. many industries. So right. it's not just the, the fascination with the technology mm. and what it might do, but uh, I was counting dozens and dozens of actual use cases, including the one from Discover yeah. uh, that we announced with Google. And I think that's a meaningful differentiator. Mm. Uh, lots of great advancements with the, with the models, with the platform, but again, to me, the most exciting one is that it's solving customer problems. Right. It's definitely one of the most important things when it comes to customers. If you're solving those problems, 100%, it becomes very interesting for the larger community as well to learn about from the use cases that you already have. Uh, that brings me to another question is around how is Discover leveraging Google Cloud? Can you tell us a little about that as well? Sure. Um, we have been a Google Cloud partner for for many years now, and we had a, a, a great long success with uh, experimentation on, on, on all sorts of solutions. But uh, uh, the last year, uh, we have been working with the, uh, with the Google Cloud uh, product teams mm -hmm. to solve a few specific uh, uh, opportunities that we have with our customer experience. So one of the core uh, uh, pillars of our brand is our award-winning 24-7 100% US-based uh, customer service uh, teams. But, Rabbit, if you think about it, the, uh, the last five, 10 years, uh, digital banking completely changed the work of customer service agents. Very true. The simple things you can do through the app mm -hmm. or through our digital portal. You don't call because you want to know, or at least most people don't call if they just want to know, if they want to know what is their due date or balance or those kind of things. It's really the most difficult questions that are reaching our customer service agents. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they, they have to rely on a lot of procedures and, you know, detailed documents that describe right. what exactly they have to do and how they have to go. And this is a little bit of a friction point that we identified. So mm -hmm. we wanted to use generative AI to bridge the gap there. Mm -hmm. And the use case is to try to use generative AI to summarize Right. All of those procedures and, you know, in a very succinct way with explicit links to the original documents, give the customer service agent a paragraph or so that they can immediately engage the customer with. Mm. So, Robert, when you call, the agent doesn't have to say, can I put you on hold for a minute? Which is when they search for the document, they identify a number of them, then they try to read into them, but they can say, um, Robert, I see that you are trying to make a payment. Right. Uh, these are the parameters of that. And then if they need to go into details, they have the link specifically to the documents. Mm. So they can jump to the actual detail piece that you might have a question oh, wow. about. But it's a, it's a very meaningful differentiator. And you know we have a number of use cases, and uh, this is one of those. It's, it's very meaningful. Yeah, 100%. If you are the customer who called, who finally uh, decided to you know have something done with a human, Yeah. You just need to make sure that that agent is going to be able to do that. 100%. It becomes so much easier if someone doesn't make me 
like doesn't put me on hold i'm so happy about that so 100% thanks for sharing that use case also quickly uh, you know i'm pretty sure a lot of people are working in the same space in want to leverage ai for enterprises do you have any advice for them any best practices any lessons yeah it's uh, you know uh, deploying generative ai uh, especially in a regulated industry is is a whole lot more about organizational transformation. Mm. Um, Vertex and Gemini are fantastic tools. If you use Google Cloud, yeah. they come integrated. There exactly. There is very little coding involved. They are, there's very little integration. That effectively is, is happening seamlessly. On the other hand, you have to prepare the organization so you can even get started. So mm. what we specifically did, we invested into building a framework. So we built uh, explicitly um, an AI governance console. Uh, the mm. AI governance console is a cross-functional team that has experts from our legal teams, our compliance yeah. teams, information security, uh, the, the, the data analytics teams, uh, the developers, and the business units. Wow. So they can develop a framework around how the company can approach the different use cases. So they set guidelines for the enterprise so we can build a deliberate framework mm. on how we want to get into the use cases and they also enable the organization to be able to move ahead and measure outcome. So that's a little bit more there. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the work and the effort has to happen. The, the technical implementation, the technical development, it's very easy. I Changing love it. The organization that takes a little bit of an effort, yeah. but you just need to invest into it. It's just the teamwork as well that kind of plays a very important role when you're implementing something it's, like Jenny. You know, it's, 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 it's funny that you say that because, uh, you know, the teams are really getting a, a different definition. Uh, you know, traditionally, again, a lot of integration, a lot of coding, a lot of engineers. In this case, uh, the end user is really important. So customer service agents, mm. expert agents, are the most important key to a successful implementation because they are the ones who can validate right. whether the output of the platform or the model is good for the specific use. They are the ones that are fine tuning it. Mm. We use our customer service agents to provide thumbs up, thumbs down, and specific feedback on what are those areas where the model is working well and what are those that need further fine tuning. So. So the knowledge, uh, the knowledge roles changed around quite a bit, and right. the teamwork with the actual end users is critical. Critical. The end user is the internal data that you can rely on to to make it something that's practical, mm. that ultimately ends up ideally leading to a better customer experience. Love it. I, I I love all these insights, and always love to you know chat with people like you who are actually working in the space and creating experiences for others as well. So thanks for that. Uh, thanks for sharing all the great insights. One last question for you, and I'm pretty sure the audience would love to know that. How can they connect with you? How can they collaborate? How can they you know find opportunities to catch up with you? Is LinkedIn a good place or any other place? LinkedIn is a fantastic place. So. Please find me. Um, Rabbit might have to post my name. Yes. Sabuaj Padi. It's a I'm going to tag you. It's a little bit perfect. Uh, yeah. Different, but I'm, I'm always very happy to talk and collaborate. Thank you very much. It was such a pleasure to host you on the Rabbit Show. And uh, Thank thanks for sharing all the great insights. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.